<laughs> oh, okay. Ulzebek has become quite agreeable, even comfortable, thanks to you all. I wish Zephyr were here to see it. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be stunned at how beautiful the city's become. It wasn't all our doing. The Crimson Crows had a huge hand in the progress here. Yes. It's true. It's improved so much in the last year, I hardly recognize it. It's like an entirely different city from the first time we met. We'll keep chipping away and making it even better still. Oh yeah, Grenar, give him that thing. Yeah. Right, right. This is a small thank you from us. It's yours. Are you sure? Thanks, both of you. I'm grateful. This will be a big help. We'll use it wisely. Oh, is it? I bet it's an artifact. Come on back whenever you need anything. You're welcome anytime. Oh, never mind. It's stat boosts. Also good. 10,000 gold. Now we're talking. Easy. It's only been a year, but in every city we visited, reconstruction efforts seem to be progressing well. It's encouraging to see everything coming together like this. That's true. But even then, some nations are progressing better than others. And each still has its own set of problems. Reconciliation between Renans and Danans has only just begun. There are still many issues to work through. Yeah, but still. It's pretty exciting to see what shape the world's gonna take, you know? Hope is always a good thing to have. We might even start to see beautiful cityscapes like the Synths in every region. Who knows? Maybe as Danon and Renan cultures start to overlap, we'll see all kinds of new books and tools. People will probably develop new dishes and recipes to try too. Oh, and innovative new fashion designs. Yeah. From now on, everyone in this world will have their own hopes and dreams to pursue. And for our part, we'll have to do our best to assist in any way we can to help those dreams become reality. Well, yeah, that goes without saying. So what about you, Dohalim? What sort of things do you want to see in the new world? Hmm. If I had to choose, perhaps a new kind of instrument. I've always wondered if it would be possible to create an instrument that functions as wind, string, and percussion all in one. If so, it would surely open a door to new musical possibilities. Uh, maybe that's a door best left closed. <laughs> Oh, Dohalim. I assume we got that skit because we did, like, all of the reconstruction side quests in this area, and there's Law's... Oh, Zephyr's Grave is Law's second character subquest? That's actually amazing, and I love it. And there's Dohalim's first one. Dude, uh, my goodness. I want to go do some more of the main story, but they keep hitting me with all these subquests. They're non-stop, and they're, like, promising me boost strike upgrades. I need them. I sense a poor soul who is in dire need. Sounds like art... Plates and dishes for sale, top quality pottery. Why not buy one? They're cheap and a delight to use. I see. Plates and dishes, eh? May I see just what sort of pieces you're selling? Sure, have a look all you want. My wares use Calagli and clay, and I couldn't be prouder of them. These really are quite nice. Dohalim? Something the matter, Dohalim? Oh. Such an indescribable texture. There's no mistaking it. This dish is an awe-inspiring masterpiece. Well, it seems like you have an eye for pottery. You a potter yourself? Yes, though I only started recently. I'd love to be able to produce such splendid pieces as these someday. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I knew you collected pottery, but I didn't know you'd started making your own as well. Pottery is wonderful. You can get in touch with the earth, hear its voice, and dig out its limitless possibilities with your very own hands. Huh? I see. I suppose I'm still not used to Dan and aesthetic sensibilities, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Then take this as a chance to learn more. This piece is very high quality, not only as an art object, but also as functional pottery. You mentioned Calagli and clay. Does the clay used really make such a difference? I normally wouldn't say so much to a customer, but I can see you're a fellow pottery lover, so I'll share a little more than usual. The clay used in my pieces, well, it actually includes parts from Zoogles. What? What an unexpected secret. It's really not unexpected. Is there anything that's done with anything in this world without using Zoogle parts? Now that I've heard it myself, I've no choice but to try it myself. Huh? What? So you're just gonna set off right now? Can't we do this later? A beautiful plate enhances the accompanying food's flavor. You of all people should be able to imagine the importance of this. <laughs> what do you say, Shion? Don't you think we ought to set out now to find the materials to make pottery? Okay. Yeah. Indeed, a high quality plate probably would make a meal taste better. I guess. <laughs> so you do understand. Then let us get getting, get getting, in search of the ultimate clay! Good luck. If you find any materials, I'll teach you how to work them into clay. Path of the Potter. Oh, Dohalim. 
Dohalim, Dohalim, Dohalim. We should focus on this one because it's his first one. You can make ceramic dishes all by yourself? Wow, Dohalim. I'm Wait. impressed. Music, antiques, and now pottery? Just how many hobbies do you have? The world is full of curiosities. One can never have too many interests. I already have what you need, I think. Wait, we can go to Berg Volcano now? Oh. Is that what changed with me doing all the reconstruction stuff? It opened the path to Berg Volcano? And it looks like it takes you straight to where the ship used to be. Oh, we gotta go over there, but first you. How's this? We gathered some materials. Could you have a look? That's really weird. Normally, when you already have the materials you need, the game has dialogue built into the quest that is like, oh, isn't this what you need right here? But this time, we had to step away and then step right back. Maybe because it was Dohalim's special quest? I don't know. Oh, this is it, all right. This will make some great clay. Let's go! Great one, man. So is it time for some pottery making, then? No. No, wait. There's one more thing I'd like to check. The glaze used on this piece is also different than anything I'm familiar with. It must be made from something special, yes. Wow, you really have an eye for detail. Huh? Glaze? Like on a cake? Not exactly. It is like paint or varnish, but for pottery. Ah, oh, gotcha. High temperatures transform the glaze into a glass-like texture on the surface of the clay, making the piece more durable. At the same time, it can change the appearance of pottery in innumerable ways. Glaze is truly the water that brings pottery to life. You kind of lost me there, but it sounds like glaze is something you'd want on pottery. So then. Now then, could you tell me where to obtain glaze like that which is on this dish? I'll tell you everything now that you've come this far. As I'm sure you know, glaze is made from ashes and clay. You can find especially good clay in Shinefall Woods. That's what I use. My thanks. You go all the way to Ganetheros for your... What the heck? In Ganetheros, eh? I see. Thank you. Let's get going right away, then. There's no use trying to stop him once he gets this worked up. We have so many things that want me to go to Ganetheros. Passionate about or specifically Shinefall. Well good, but just how far do you intend to take this obsession? It is an unending quest for perfection. Indeed, the very essence of the path of a potter. Dohalim. Well, I'm sure that everyone will be able to use whatever wonderful dishes you end up making. Everything wants me to go to Shinefall Woods. Literally everything. This memorial is here for those who died under Renin rule. Yeah, like my dad. Speaking of Zephyr, what happened to that ring, Law? I don't see you wearing it. Oh, my dad's ring? I don't have it with me right now. What? Why not? It's a special memento, isn't it? Sure, but uh, it's heavy. I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. You're saying a ring is too heavy for you? Or is that an excuse because you misplaced it? Of course not. It's around. Somewhere. Right. So where exactly is it then? Well, I guess... Mm. I knew it! I'll help you look for it. It's a special memento to remember your mom and dad by. You don't need to bother. It's okay. Stop trying to hide your feelings. I'm sure someone's seen it. Let's ask around. <sighs> Zephyr's ring. Should you maybe ask where Law lost the ring instead of just asking randomly in Calaglia? Y yeah, you know what? Let's get this done. I love Zephyr quests. You pick up on the strangest things. Always sticking your nose in others' business. I appreciate the thought, but... Did you say something, Law? No, nothing. Yeah, Law doesn't say anything. Ever. <laughs> hey, Law, you're looking great today. You know, you look more and more like Zephyr every day. No. You said that before, and it's still not true. Yeah, he doesn't look like his dad hardly at all, to be honest. I'm just glad to see Zephyr's son working hard in the Crimson Crows. We owe a lot to Zephyr. I hope you grow up to be just like him. Yeah. We're looking for Zephyr's ring. You haven't seen it around here, have you? Hmm. A ring? Can't say I have. Thanks. Got it. Thanks. Can't we just give it a rest? We don't have to go through the trouble of looking for it. Stop being so considerate. It's weird. Besides, it'll be bad if it ends up buried in the sand, right? We gotta find it and fast. Time to get cracking. Uh -huh. It's not buried in the sand, though. Does Law know where it is and he just put it aside because he doesn't want to be thinking about his dad or something? Because it makes him feel sad to have the ring on him? That's my guess. Hmm? What? Zephyr's ring went missing? That's not good. Well... Have you seen it around lately? This is such a weird question to be asking people. No, I haven't, but I pray you find it. It's a memento of a great man. 
I know, I know. <sighs> Zephyr, your father, he was really amazing. It's thanks to him that all of us are even alive. He supported, inspired, and guided us. That's what I call a true leader. Yeah. I agree. When I came to Calaglia, he was the first person who trusted me. I wonder if the Crimson Crows will ever have another leader like that. Uh -huh. I'm getting kind of hungry. Maybe it's time to take a break and get something to eat. We can eat later. Right now, we need to find that ring. Rinwell, you're more into this ring than Law. Is it because you want Law to give it to you eventually? Where am I going? Up here? No. Into this house. And then up. Get out of my way. <laughs> Hello. I'm breaking into your domicile. I hope that's okay. Where the heck is this person? They're up top, but I can't get there from here? What the heck? Why is Ulzebek... Ulzebek? Ulzebelk. What is this place called? Ulzebek. It is Ulzebek. I said it right the first time. Why is Ulzebek built like this, and why is it spelt like that? Hmm? Need something? We're looking for a ring, Zephyr's Memento. Nah, I haven't seen it. Doesn't Law have it? Well... No, I... Seriously? He lost it. What a shame, but I guess it's easy to get careless when you're as busy as you are. You and the other Crimson Crows are working so hard to fill the hole left in his absence. Yeah, everyone's been working super hard. Okay. And I'm sure you are too. I hope you don't push yourself too hard, though. I'm afraid I can't. Right. Sorry for taking up your time. Seems like no one knows anything. Can we please just give up already, Renwell? It's unlike you to give up so early, Law. When in doubt, it is best to return to your roots. Agreed. Let's return to the memorial and take some time to think. Zephyr's memento is too precious to just abandon. Say, maybe we should pray at the memorial while we're out and about. We can ask that Zephyr and the people of Calaglia continue to rest in peace. That's random. Why now? Hearing everyone's stories made me remember a lot about Zephyr. Love that guy. He was respected by everyone, not just us. He really helped them. Yeah. I could never measure up to my dad. Let's take a moment to say a prayer then. A moment of silence. <sighs> dad. What did you want me to do with that ring? Nathan and the others gave it to me. But then, I'll never be a leader like you. I can barely even look after myself. Someday, I want to be the kind of man who will make you and Mom proud, but... I don't know when that day's gonna come. Do I even deserve to carry your prized possession? Everyone expects me to be just like you. Shouldn't it belong to someone who can carry on your legacy as a leader? I don't even know anymore. Dad, if you were alive, what would you tell me now? What? What? Ah! 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 Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? I just wanted to talk and hear you're coming out swinging! Fine, damn it! Help! Help! Wanna talk with your fists? And I'll answer with mine! Hey, 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 hear me out? Stop! Bad dad. Bad. Nice dragon shot. Stop it. I don't have, like, any of my arts set up. Also, I hate it here. Send help. This music is so good, though. Divine Fang Blast. That sounds sick. Okay, we do have a heal, which is good. Make this Divine Fang Blast. Make this Inspiration. Raising Flame, Swallow Dance. This music is so good. All right. Tell a storm. Shattering Bad Father. Attack time. Bad Father. All finish you here and now. Divine up. Fang Blast. Crumble. Oh, that's really cool if it actually hits. Whoa, calm down there, Dad. Your move's really cool, too. Ow, my feelings. My punch is better. No, it's not. No, it's not. Your punch is way better. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Nice. I am not good enough with law to, like, get into awakening at all. Ow. Stop this. No, bad. 
Why doesn't Law just have all of your moves? They seem so much cooler. Too slow. Tectonic punch. Very tectonic. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come at me. Bad. Ow. I'm about to go into overlimit. And not the way that you normally go into overlimit with this character. I could do this all day. Don't burn your talent hurricane! Thunder punch! Inferno punch! Help. I, I cannot play his law. His arts are so long and send you flying like all over the place because they're like eight hit combos. I tried playing his I tried to dodge there and I was stunned. That's so annoying. Stop. Like so many of Law's arts just send him across the map and I hate it. They're like eight hit combos. It's that time of the year again, where Chaos reminds you that he does not like 1v1s and Tales of. He has only ever seen, like, three good 1v1s in this entire franchise. And this is not gonna be one of them. Stop. Stop it, Dad. Ow. We're gonna be here a while. Annoyingly. I'll burn myself if I want. You're not in charge of me. I was about to say you're not my real dad, but you are Law's real dad. I pressed R2 too late. I hate this little stun after that where you just have to stand still. Screw off. That's so unfun. Oh my goodness. I hate this. I hate this a lot. Stop. This isn't just a 1v1 either. It's like a like it's a full boss health bar. Like what the heck? You. I'm just going straight for a tenebrous claw. I'm gonna get hit otherwise. You supposed to lose or win this fight? I mean, maybe losing is an option, but it seems so doable that I would be shocked if it's a scripted loss. Normally, scripted losses are way harder to win. Bad dad. It's especially bad doing this as Law, because Law's whole thing is getting a break on the enemy and then just keeping a never-ending combo going. But boss enemies are specifically designed to not let you just stun lock them infinitely. And Law's entire like character philosophy is, hey, stun lock the enemy infinitely. You're supposed to stun lock them and then just keep your combo going, which you can't really do against big boss. How did that miss? This art sucks. Divine Fang Blast is really bad. Like really bad. I use it when I'm right in front of Zephyr and then it misses somehow, even though he's standing still. Like how? Like what? what is that? Hello? What a garbage art. Take it off. This is one of the worst arts I've seen in this entire game. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't like playing as law. What are you doing? Stop that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got fire. I get it. I get it. You're a crimson crow. I understand. Ow, ow. Also, if Law gets hit even once, he gets knocked out of his awakening boost, which is even better. I pressed R2 too late. Which is even better when you're, uh, I'm going to lose here because he's stun locking me. Oh, this stupid stun is going to get me killed. Oh, I'm so lucky I got to jump there. Stop being paralyzed. Oh, I'm sick of this fight. Shut up. This is so annoying. Tenebrous Claw. Yeah, this is a really annoying fight. I do not like this. Like, conceptually, it's cool, but they should have made Zephyr, like, a normal enemy instead of a full-on boss if they wanted to have a 1v1 between him and Law. Thank goodness.
to an end.